Okay, the PWM has a G4 ground a minus L for the cell minus pole, the plus L for the cell plus pole, and the plus for the battery. So how you connect the cell to the battery, usually you have the car battery, then the fuse, then the relay, and the plus wire, you go all the way to the cell. And then all the way from the minus pole from the cell, you go all the way to the minus of the battery. So what you do when you also want to have a PWM installed, you cut the plus wire and you cut the minus wire as well and you hook up the PWM like this. You put the cable from the battery to ground of the PWM and then the L- minus of the PWM you connect that with the minus pole of the cell. The same way now with the plus cable after the relay you go to the plus of the PWM and you take the L plus to connect it to the plus pole of the cell. This way it's done and it's pretty easy. Okay, we have different PWMs. Uh, they come in box or without the box. And the uh, 50 amps PWM is in this box, for instance. And the 30 amps PWM is in this box. When you open those boxes to connect the wires, you will see on the uh, 50 PWM, you will see on this side the ground. You connect this to the battery then you connect the minus of the cell here you connect the plus of the cell here and the plus of the battery from the car here and of course always with a relay and with a fuse so that everything is safe and good to go and as you can see on the 50 amps uh, PWM you have three connections each so you can hook up I would say up to uh, two cells and run them with uh, 20 amps for instance each then you still are not at the maximum of the PWM and what's safe. Um, also um, on one of the ground and one of the plus terminals there will be the ventilator hooked up to. Uh, otherwise if you need those uh, posts as well simply disconnect the ventilator and connect it including the wire of the cell to one of the posts. That's easy to do. If you open the box of the 30 amps PWM and this is what you see. You have two posts for ground, two for minus for the cell, two for plus for the cell and two for uh, two plus for the battery. You hook it up exactly the same from the relay of the battery or battery fuse relay then you go here to plus then you take the plus L to go to the cell, then you take minus L to go to the minus pole of the cell, and then you take uh, the ground post and connect that to the minus of the battery. That's pretty easy. What you can do with the PWM as well, just in case you want to install it uh, inside the uh, passenger compartment, you should install it somewhere where those um, cooling uh, sinks are get, getting a little bit fresh air uh, shouldn't be too much enclosed if you uh, have to enclose it with a box always use a, a fan and um, also what you can do as you can see here these potentiometers if you are handy you can uh, disconnect them and extend them with uh, each of three wires to get the, uh, the knobs inside the car and um, the PWM could be mounted somewhere inside the, the engine compartment. That's possible too, but always, you know, that requires a little bit of assembling and uh, soldering. Uh, also, we have this um, 30 amps PWM enclosed in a box. This is a uh, metal box, what um, gives the heat discharge to the outside through the metal. Um, you can also extend 
the knobs you know simply solder some cables on there and you have the knob inside the passenger compartment somewhere and you still can have the box um, inside the engine compartment that's possible too how to hook it up it's, it is uh, written on the box as well also we have information on the website and uh, this is the 45 PWM to 45 amps will be hooked up exactly the same he is negative then M minus for minus the cell then M plus for the plus portion of the cell and positive for again towards the battery okay the fan is on top of here when it comes without the box it will be mounted like this already uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us uh, we are there for you thank you